All right, I'm here with the 500 XT. It's uh, 34 degrees and about a 15 mile an hour wind. So we're just gonna do a quick flight here and try out this new camera mount. Check out our field of view from the camera. Hopefully capture some GPS data. Normal mode. So normal mode. Helicopter seems perfectly stable with the camera on there. This is the, like I said, the first time that I've flown the camera. I'm flying a bit low RPM, only 68%. So I don't want to push it too hard. certainly is uh, very responsive, no issue at all with power or keeping it in line or I'm tracking it backwards on purpose to see how the tail is going to respond and uh, it's just as stable as can be. So again, first time I've flown the camera. Man, she is handling terrific. Uh, I, I'm super happy. Uh, this is about flight five with this helicopter. Uh, I've got the governor set up. I'm running it low though. I'm only at 68% on the throttle uh, with a fixed, fixed curve.
see what we pull for G's here. Uh, I'm sure that was some pretty good G's. port popped out. <laughs> Good for 360. So we're, I'm going to pull it in, see what we get for uh, battery. You just pulled the hold switch. So that was a five minute flight uh, with the camera on board. Uh, when I did the 360, the uh, you could see the balance lead came out of uh, came out of the canopy. So definitely put some pretty good G-force on the helicopter. Um, I can't wait to check out the G meter and see what it pulled. Um, I'm gonna say six and a half to seven G's in that loop. Uh, you know, and I certainly could have put more on it. Red light's still going, so that's a good sign. Five minutes of flight time. Everything looks good. All right, so just doing a quick battery check. We flew this uh, five minutes, and uh, it's at 27%. So, uh... Yeah, the speed control I wouldn't even describe as lukewarm nor the motor. Of course, it is 34 degrees out here. So 28% uh, left on the battery. I mean, five minutes is a, is a solid time. That was obviously a pretty easy flight. So 